بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم مائی نیم از عائشہ عبداللہ سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ میتھس ایٹ ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ کالج ساہیوال اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ول ٹیچ یو میتھس آف کلاس سکس and this is your lecture number 9 as you already know that we are studying chapter number 1 that is sets so here is the content include review exercise 1 students the objective is to strengthen your concepts related to sets firstly we recall the previous knowledge as you already familiar with these definitions students remember these definitions in your mind because it will help you to solve review exercise 1 so what is set a collection of distinct and well defined objects is called a set empty set a set having no element is known as an empty set or null set finite set a set having a finite number of elements is called finite set infinite set a set having unlimited number of elements is called infinite set students as you have studied these two definitions in your previous lectures now we recall equivalent set two sets are called equivalent if and only if one to one correspondence can be established between them non equivalent set two sets are called non equivalent if one to one correspondence cannot be established between them now the topic is review exercise 1 here is the question number 1 that is list the elements of following sets the first part is the set of first four months now as you already know that the first four months are january february march april now be careful you have to list all these four months within these brackets and separate them by inserting comma the second part is the set of last six capital letters as you already know that last six capital letters are u v w x y z now write them all within these brackets and separate them by inserting comma question number 3 and 4 is for your assignment and the fifth part is the set of three planets in the solar system now write down any of your favorite three planets within brackets here i write earth mars venus question number 2 is given over here that is write the reason why following collections are not sets students remember that for the set the objects in collection should be distinct and well defined so the first part is given over here as you can see that this collection is not set same objects are appeared more than once therefore elements are not distinct or in other words you can say that elements are written twice 
सो देयर फोर इट इज नॉट अ सेट सेकेंड पार्ट इज गिवन ओवर हेयर नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज नॉट अ सेट बिकॉज द एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट डिस्टिंक्ट हेयर ओ इज द एलिमेंट विच इज रिटर्न ट्वाइस सो दिस इज नॉट अ सेट सिमिलर इज द केस विथ थर्ड पार्ट दिस इज नॉट सेट बिकॉज द एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट डिस्टिंक्ट एज यू कैन सी दैट दिस एलिमेंट अपियर्ड मोर देन वंस सो देयर फोर दिस इज नॉट सेट द फिफ्थ पार्ट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ फैट बॉयज इन अ स्कूल यू कैन एग्जामिन दैट द वर्ल्ड फैट इज नॉट वेल डिफाइंड बिकॉज एनी वन मे बी फैट इन व्यू ऑफ वन पर्सन बट मे नॉट बी फॉर एन अदर सो दिस इज नॉट अ स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टी देयर फॉर दिस इज नॉट अ सेट बिकॉज देयर एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट वेल डिफाइंड Here is an assignment for you. Question number one, third and fourth part. Question number two, just fourth part. Question number three is given over here. Write following sets into the tabular form. So the first part is the set of five even numbers. For the solution. Just write any five even numbers within these brackets and separate them by comma. Here are two, four, six, eight, and ten. The second part is the set of number less than twenty-three and greater than seventeen. In solution, just write the number that is greater than seventeen and less than twenty-three. So here are eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Remember that you have to write these numbers within brackets and separate them with comma. Now, the fourth part is the set of whole numbers less than five. As you already know that whole number starts from zero. So just write whole number that are less than five. So here are zero, one, two, three, and four. Question number four is given over here. That is separate finite, infinite, and empty set. The first part is. A is the set of rivers in Pakistan students as you very well know that there are 5 rivers in Pakistan so this is a finite set in the third part C is the set of number of people on the moon as you know that it is not possible to live on the moon so this is an empty set Question number five is given over here. That is, separate equivalent and non-equivalent pair of sets. A is the set including element one, three, and five, and B is the set including elements two, four, and six. Now examine that there is one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of these two sets. For the element one in the set A, there corresponds an element two in the set B. In this way, you can establish one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of these two sets. So, the set A and the set B are equivalent set. Second part is for your assignment. In the third part. 
E is the set of five whole numbers and F is the set of vowels in English alphabet. As you know that there are five vowels in English alphabets. So now you can easily establish one to one correspondence between the elements of these two sets. So these sets are equivalent sets. And the fourth part is G is the set of days of a week and H is the set of counting numbers less than 7. As you know that the set of days of a week include 7 elements and the set of counting numbers less than 7 include 6 elements. So we cannot establish one to one correspondence between the elements of these two sets. So these are non equivalent sets. Question number six is fill in the blanks in following pairs of sets to make them equal. Set A and set B are given over here. We have to fill these blanks to make these sets equal. Now remember that two sets with same elements are called equal sets. Now fill in the blanks in such a way that the elements in both sets should be same. So we write here E and A. Now you can see both the sets have same elements. Similar is the case with second part. We will fill these blanks with 2 and 4 to make the set equal. Now you can see that set A and set B are equal because both the sets have same elements. So here is an assignment for you. Question number 4, second part. Question number 5, second part. Question number 6, third part. Thank you so much for watching the video.